Dr. Smith, thanks for your time. Our topic in this Health Connection post is testosterone replacement. And the first question that you'd have to ask is, why does testosterone need to be replaced? What does it do in the male body? Testosterone has many effects in the male body. Uh, some of the physical effects that it has includes the development uh, or it helps to the development of the sex organs. Uh, it helps improve libido uh, or sex drive in the male. It also has other effects such as uh, the development of secondary male sex characteristics such as facial and body hair. Uh, some of the psycho, uh, psychological effects of testosterone in the bo body include uh, improving mood, improving energy, and uh, stamina. What is testosterone deficiency and what causes it? Testosterone deficiency is simply a low level of circulating uh, testosterone in the body. Uh, it is caused by a variety of different uh, 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 disease processes. Uh, we generally divide these into primary and secondary causes. Uh, primary causes are those that arise within the testicle I itself. That is, testosterone is reduced in uh, the uh, there's reduced pr production of testosterone in the testicles. Uh, secondary arises outside of the testicle, uh, most commonly uh, with in a uh, disorder known as pituitary disorder, where the pituitary does not send a signal to the testicles to make enough testosterone. In the primary forms, we see this with uh, things like trauma or infection to the testicle themselves. Uh, or in secondary, we see problems with the pituitary. There can be a combination of both, and in some diseases, uh, there is a problem with both of those, uh, uh, and some diseases associated with low testosterone include diabetes, obesity. Um, there are um, other diseases such as alcoholism and uh, liver disease that can lower the testosterone level as well. If one is deficient in testosterone, are there obvious symptoms? Well, probably the most... Uh, common symptoms uh, are certainly those that uh, uh, we look for as, as physicians uh, are, are those that, that have to do with decreased uh, uh, bone mass in the body or low, uh, low bone mass called osteopenia. The other uh, symptoms can be uh, increased body fat distribution um, and uh, particularly around the waist. The uh, other signs and symptoms can be lack of uh, genital development lack of facial hair or body hair in certain regions of the body. We, we look for those uh, first, but some of the more subtle uh, signs that we might look for uh, are patients that have uh, decreased um, energy, uh, poor memory and concentration. Uh, they may have problems with um, low mood or depression. Those are, those are some of the symptoms that we also look for. Why does testosterone in a male decrease with age? It does decrease with age about uh, one to two percent per year after the age of 30. So you can imagine that uh, by the time a, a male hits uh, their 70s and 80s, they, they often have a significantly decreased uh, testosterone level. But the reason it decreases is twofold. Uh, first, the testicles just produce less testosterone with age. Secondly, there's an increase with age of a uh, protein in the body called sex hormone binding globulin. And this hormone binds the active form of testosterone very closely and doesn't let it free to act in the body. So the combination of lower testosterone production in the testicles, an increase in that bound form of testosterone that's not available for uh, action in the body reduces, uh, uh, causes a reduction as we age. How is testosterone deficiency diagnosed? The diagnosis of testosterone deficiency requires uh, an unequivocal documentation of low testosterone in blood, uh, usually done by blood tests. Uh, it also requires uh, the presence of clinical signs and symptoms consistent with uh, testosterone deficiency. So in order to diagnose it, a history and physical examination by a physician is necessary and blood tests are needed. Once you've arrived at a diagnosis of testosterone deficiency, how do you treat it? Well, testosterone 
treatment, uh, deficiency treatment is uh, rather straightforward. Uh, there's a replacement of uh, testosterone to normal levels and the goal of therapy is not only to replace it to a normal level but to improve the clinical symptoms associated with the de uh, deficiency. Uh, I can just go into briefly how we do replace testosterone. Uh, there are several different forms, uh, intramuscular injections for example. There are various patches and gels that can be applied topically to the uh, skin. There's uh, subcutaneous or subdermal uh, implants that can slowly, once implanted, slowly release testosterone into the circulation. There's even a buccal form uh, or a, a, a patch to put on the gum for some patients. Uh, treatment is individualized based on patient and uh, preferences and, and, and physician uh, preferences. Are there side effects to such therapy? Well, testosterone therapy in general uh, can have some side effects. Um, uh, oily skin, for example, uh, slight fluid retention in some patients. Uh, it can increase the prostate size and therefore uh, cause some, some problems with urination in some patients. Uh, that's uh, uh, a significant uh, side effect that we look for when we're replacing testosterone. Uh, because testosterone can increase the uh, production of red blood cells in the body, um, that can also be a side effect. In other words, increased red blood cell volume. Why would we want, what, what would be the implication of an increased red blood cell volume? Well, if, it, if the blood cell volume increases uh, above 50%, uh, that's called the hematocrit, then that can lead to other problems in the body. Um, and so we, we certainly don't want that to to happen. These side effects that you just mentioned, you know, how prevalent, how common are they? That's a good question. Uh, it's individual. Uh, usually uh, uh, some uh, of the side effects are evident in just about everyone that we treat. Uh, usually they're minimal like the oily skin or slight fluid retention. Uh, the more serious side effects though uh, are not seen uh, as often. Side effects kind of would segue nicely into the risks. What are the risks attendant to uh, testosterone replacement therapy? Well, the risk associated with therapy um, are primarily um, the risk of making underlying conditions worse uh, that may already exist. Um, it's not recommended, for example, to replace uh, uh, testosterone in someone with a history of breast or prostate cancer because the replacement can make those conditions uh, worse. Other conditions that can be worse would be um, uh, made worse by testosterone therapy include prostatic enlargement or patients with an elevated PSA uh, or an unevaluated enlarged prostate. Uh, those, are, those are conditions that would pose a risk to therapy. Uh, I had already mentioned uh, about the um, increased red blood cell production, so a patient that already has a high red blood cell volume uh, would not be a candidate, uh, a good candidate for therapy. Well, let's turn the risks over on the other side of the coin. Are there health risks attendant to not treating testosterone deficiency? Untreated testosterone deficiency can lead uh, to some potentially serious side effects uh, or risk rather. The, the greatest probably would be uh, the risk of fractures because of low bone loss. Depression is another risk to untreated uh, testosterone deficiency. Um, some of the uh, important uh, aspects of untreated testosterone deficiency are just low mood, low self-esteem, poor concentration, poor memory. So for that reason, uh, testosterone therapy can be beneficial to patients uh, that have these signs and symptoms. You can't turn on late night TV, you can't turn on you know, satellite radio, you can't turn on the kind of the periphery of, of media and, and not hear the commercials uh, for over-the-counter testosterone replacements that, um, that just sing of miracles. Mm -hmm. What about these products and do they work and are they safe? What I can say about uh, uh, that is that any, any product that someone wants to purchase or any medication that someone wants to take for uh, what they believe is, is um, um, 
a medical condition, in my opinion, should be discussed with their physician first. I don't think that we should entertain, our patients should entertain treating themselves with uh, these products without a, a thorough evaluation by their physician first. Testosterone deficiency needs to be diagnosed uh, with uh, history and physical examination, laboratory test, and only in, in unequivocal unequivocal, unequivocal uh, deficiency should it be treated. Uh, so uh, that's, that's what I have to say on that topic. Very well. Doctor, thanks very much for your time. Certainly. Glad to be here.